Hi, I'm Lalit Vasist and you're watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, do you know that we cannot fold a piece of paper in half more than eight times? Here, I will show you in this video whether it's a reality or just a myth. But before doing this, let me tell you one very interesting thing that if we keep on folding the paper in half 103 times, then the thickness of the paper would be more than the size of the observable universe that is more than 93 billion light years. It seems unbelievable, but with the help of mathematics, I will show you how is it possible. But before that, let's do the experiment. Here, uh, as you can see, I have a piece of paper, okay? And here I have folded it in half one time. And now, see it, second fold, okay? third fold see fourth fold after four folds this has become difficult fifth fold okay and sixth fold actually my paper was of good quality so its thickness was more than a thin paper now we have folded it six times in half okay so as i told you that the last limit is eight times so i can hardly uh, fold it seven times i don't know whether i can do it or not but if I apply more pressure, then it is, I think it's possible to fold it nearly seven times and I can do this. But it has deformed. So it is the seventh fold. You can see it is a seventh fold, but uh, folding it eight times is very difficult for me. And uh, the theory says that it is not possible to fold it more than eight times. So for me, it is really difficult to fold it more than seven times okay so this is a fact actually but one interesting thing that i just told you that if i keep on doing this one zero three times then its thickness would be more than 93 billion light years that is this more than the size of this observable universe it seems unbelievable it's hard really hard to believe but I will show you with the mathematics that it is possible. You see, it's thickness. The main thing why this happens is the exponential growth. Every time I fold the paper in half, its thickness becomes double. After one fold, its thickness becomes double. And after two folds, its thickness becomes four times. So in this way, let's see the mathematics. This has been shown in this exponential graph which has been drawn between number of layers and number of folds of the paper. Notice here that when the number of folds is 0 then the number of layers is 1 that is no fold single layer of paper. But when we fold it in half one time then the number of layers becomes 2 and its thickness becomes double. Observe this in the graph also. When the number of folds is 2 then the number of layers becomes double that is four times of the previous one so its thickness becomes four times when the number of folds is three then the number of layers becomes eight and for number of folds four its layer number becomes 16 so it is the exponential rise now this video is going to be very interesting as i will increase the number of folds the number of layers and hence the thickness of the paper would increase and I will compare its thickness with the objects of our universe. So let's see how it happens. When the number of folds is 3, then 2 to the power 3 means 8. So 8 number of layers. So its thickness would be 8 times the thickness of the paper. So initially I have assumed that the thickness of the paper was 1 by 10 millimeter. So its thickness would be 8 times the 1 by 10. It means 0 0.8 millimeters. The size is equal to the thickness of the nail, 0.8 mm. Now let's fast forward the number of folds to 10. So 2 to the power 10 means number of layers is 1024. So its thickness would be 
1024 multiplied by 1 by 10 mm. This is equal to the thickness of our hand. When we fold the paper 23 times, then its thickness becomes equal to 1 km. After 30 folds, the paper becomes 100 km thick. After 42 folds, its thickness will reach to the moon. And after 51 folds, we will reach to the sun. Its thickness would be equal to the distance between earth and the sun. After 81 folds, its thickness would be 127,786 light years, which is nearly equal to the size of the Andromeda galaxy, which is the nearest spiral galaxy to the Milky Way. After 90 folds, the thickness of the paper would be 130.8 million light years, which would be larger than the Virgo supercluster. Actually, this Virgo supercluster is a local galactic group that contains our Milky Way and the nearest Andromeda galaxy along with 100 other galaxies groups. And if we increase the number of folds to 103, that is after 103 folds, the thickness of the paper would reach up to 93 billion light years, which is more than the size of our observable universe. So you see how rapidly, how exponentially the thickness of the paper increases. This is all the beauty of the mathematics that after every fold, the thickness becomes double. So in this way, just after 103 folds, you will reach beyond the size of our observable universe. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, then please like and share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel, then you can subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy for more such interesting videos. Thank you for watching the video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.